Hello there everybody, my name is Waddles and welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, episode 13. It's a, a big day today, kind of. Uh, this is the first post 100,000 episode, so I need to say thank you to everyone who's watching right now uh, into the future for 100,000 subscribers. It's crazy, I have not one but two specials planned, um, so you'll see those and, and when you see it you'll know it's a special. Um, and, and one of those specials maybe will be in this world. I guess we'll see um, in some time. But anyways, today we have we have a mission to do, or, or two actually. I've been talking about Dark Oak Wood for a while, and we need to take care of that. But um, I, I did see some comments about this thing. Uh, this, this is a noise machine, by the way. Um, <laughs> so we can't build anywhere near it, but it should be ready to be um, like all bred up and fed so if we just hold down you know the feed button and kind of move around the cows will get uh fed and then they will breed and you should be able to notice some of the adults uh dying when they die their loot gets thrown into this bottom chest here and they are dying because of entity cramming as of one of the more recent minecraft updates maybe 1.11 1.10 1.12 i can't recall exactly uh, but entity cramming is a thing that means there can only be so many mobs in one area um, that's how this whole thing works so uh, now we'll need to make a smoker and start cooking the beef up and saving the leather. We actually have enough to make a whole enchantment table with uh, level 30 enchants now. Uh, but that's not the plan. So the plan today is to first uh, go and retrieve... Ow. Ow. <laughs> the dark oak uh, wood. Uh, dark oak wood is probably my favorite wood in the game. I think it looks... Just just amazing, and I can't get out that way. I, I always forget about that. But um, there should be a dark oak forest off to the south. Uh, pretty close, too, actually. Uh, unfortunately, I, I believe it to be off of this map. Um, now, if I can recall, I, I think it's back this way a little bit. Um, I think it shouldn't be too far from here. And by the way, this is a beautiful ocean. It's... This is amazing. The The warm oceans were, or are, my favorite ocean biome of the 1.13 update by far. The watercolor is amazing. The coral, the sea pickles, everything. We will need to do some sort of underwater observatory at some point, I think. Um, there's no way that we can't. We have to utilize the beauty of this biome. Uh, but, uh, do you see what I see? It is indeed my favorite wood type in the whole game, dark oak wood. I, I still can remember when this stuff was added, and I, I I loved it right away. And even after the texture change, I still do like the wood. I, I If I'm being honest, I like the old dark oak wood texture a little more, just just a little bit, but this isn't bad. It, it, it's still nice, and uh, the, the tones of the bark... It's, you just can't beat it. So we'll chop down a few of these trees um, and get at least four saplings or so. I, I usually have really bad luck with dark oak saplings. And then we'll meet back up over at the base for the big project today. We will be building another farm. You could probably guess what it is. I've been talking about needing one of these things since since terraforming in like episode two <laughs> so uh that's the plan um or maybe even episode one uh but first saplings consider the saplings retrieved we have 12 i got really really lucky 12 from two trees for me that's absolutely absurd now we have a big project at hand today um, it is definitely time to take a look at vine farming. That is what today's episode will be mostly about. Now that we do have dark oak wood, I'd like to come back in here and try switching out the oak on the roof for dark oak. But first, the vine farm. This is the number one priority. Um, now I've been taking a look at our land here, and I think we could run a path going up the hill this way, and then sort of right in between this animal pen and I, I guess the hill for now. Uh, I am thinking about putting the vine farm up here on the hill. I think sitting somewhere in here would be nice. We'll definitely have to do a little bit of terraforming, though. There's not much room. And then maybe we have, like, you know, the path coming up this hill and then going down that way past other buildings and things that I build. I, I, I think, maybe. Uh, now, the road will also work as a border, and I'll have to fill in lots of plants in here because down here we can hear the water and the cows and... It's a horrendous sound. <laughs> like, it scares me, so uh, we, we need to definitely make a border so I don't have to hear it anywhere and you guys don't have to hear it. 
Uh, but now, to start with our vine farm, I think we'll need to take the ground down maybe... Maybe just one layer. One, well, eh, one or one or two. One or two. One or two. Maybe just one. Um, the trees have to go. <laughs> Vines are unlike any other plant in Minecraft. They grow in a very interesting way. So, to farm vines, we'll need to have a source plant, so the plant that we don't harvest, and then, of course, all of the harvesting plants. The harvesting plants can really go down as far as you let them, meaning you could have vines way up in the sky, and eventually they'll grow all the way down to the ground, and I uh, could harvest them all. To harvest vines, we'll need to start from the bottom and work up. If we were to harvest, like, this vine up here, every single vine that is below this one would break and go away, and that would be a problem. Now, the design that we're going to be using for this vine farm is a pretty old standard one. I did a quick search on YouTube for the oldest video of this design that I could find, and one of those videos was from Izuma. So if you watch Izuma, or really you've just been watching Minecraft for a while, you might recognize this thing. We'll have our source vines planted on these top ledges, and then over time, all of the vines will grow downwards, and then we will harvest everything from the bottom up. I think we could do one, two, three, four, five. Five harvesting rows, so we'll get one more vine source up there and then let everything grow down. On the ground, we'll make like a platform and do probably like a water stream moving forward so all of the vines that we harvest are pushed right over to us. So we can just stand at the front of this thing, uh, like over where this tower is, hold down the shear button and just move. But the thing that I need to test is how far can I actually reach back? I, I'm not sure if, let's say I was standing... Uh, I think I would be standing here or here. Will I be able to... Oh, there's no way I can reach that. Mm-mm. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, hmm. I don't want to have to jump into the water, right? That's the thing. So do we want to chop that off and then go... One, two, three, four instead? Four might be a little better. Can we reach back four? Um, let's say there's a vine right there. Um, would we be able to reach that? Uh, here's the moment of truth. No. Hmm. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> let's try one more. Uh, three deep this time. Three deep should be perfect. Uh, let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. I can reach three deep, which is exactly what we need. So we'll do a three deep and then I guess like a long vine farm. I'd like this thing to be pretty productive. Like I'm thinking hopefully uh, at least a stack of harvested vines when we harvest the farm in full. Aside from terraforming, the next thing that I'll need to do is decide what blocks I'd like to use on this build. I didn't really think about it before the episode. <laughs> I'd like to use some lime wool, but uh, we don't have access to lime dye until we find a cactus. And, you know, for cactus, we need to find a desert, which is something that I still haven't found in this world, unfortunately. So instead of lime dye or any other cool green blocks, we'll, we'll have to come up with something different. I think this would be the perfect time to start using dark oak wood, maybe some of that new polished stone, smooth stone, I think, and hmm, hmm, what do we have? We could do, we could try granite, maybe, granite looks cool, um, or stone brick, not cobble, hmm, hmm. Oh, and I, I definitely want to take advantage of the view that the mountain allows us, so I will be smelting up some sand, turning it into glass for the view of the mountain. We need to take advantage of that. Uh, but let's move our furnace up to the work zone, which is up there, and I need more coal, too, so let's grab some more coal. Aha, the vines are getting ahead of themselves. No, 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 not yet. Young, young vines, uh, too soon. So... The glass. The glass is the thing that I don't have yet. I have to smelt that up, um, but it will be on this side so we have the view. Right now, there's not much of a view, but I think once we put things in the water, we will have a nice view up here, and um, these trees will be gone, and yep, so that's the plan. So glass on the back wall. Now, over here, I am smelting up the smooth stone that I'd like to try out on the build, and then, of course, stone, so we can make even more smooth stone. I think we'll want to move the build forward just a little bit so we have some more room on the back side. I don't really like uh, setting buildings even with the cliff line, right? Like if the base of our building is right there, that, that wouldn't really look too good in my opinion. Let's start the build with a strong base. I, I think this is where the smooth stone will come in. Then on top of this, we'll do... 
I don't know, maybe maybe three high with glass, which we don't have, so we'll use sand for now. Uh, then, of course, the whole vine harvesting things, which we decided will be three tiers. So uh, something like this right here. So uh, we'll get one, two, three from the back one, and then four, and then five. So three plus four plus five, which is 12. And, and that's not bad, but I think we should move this all up one. So now we'll have four vines on the back, then five, then six, which is 15. That's a little bit better. There won't be any vines on this bottom row because we'll be dumping water and letting the water pour, you know, this way, not down the hill. <laughs> but yeah, so the vines won't grow into the water. So I think that's good. Um, for each tile, we'll get 15, which means if we did, let's say, four of these, we'd get 60 vines. If we do eight, we'll get 120 vines from a full harvest. And if we did 15 separate tiles of this thing, we would get 225 vines from a fully grown harvest. That is approximately three and a half stacks of vines, which is, or should be, hopefully, way more than enough. So we'll do 15 tiles. I think <laughs> that should be definitely overkill. More than enough, which is good. So for the base of this thing, I think we'll do the stone. Maybe we could try... A bit of a pattern with andesite, I'm not too sure, but for now we'll just fill this all in. Then on the floor we'll do probably more stone, andesite, something like that, and we'll have water flow forwards. I think at the front we could just do a line of fence gates actually, so we could step in here if we needed to, but we won't. And then any vines that we have in here would simply flow right to the front and we would pick them up. We don't really need a hopper collection system on this farm because it's not automatic. When I'm harvesting the vines, they'll already be over here so I can pick them up and that's fine. We'll just need to figure out where we'd like to store the vines. Now, the front of our farm does not need to be all the way over here where I put it either. We can put the front, I think, uh, right behind the frontmost row of vines. So... Uh, right there this will be the front of the farm the build won't be all that deep at all which is good that'll save space i don't know if we'll do a full side over here we might leave that open that could be a cool look um, same with that other side but then yep yeah, the whole glass back wall so now i need to figure out what i'd like to use for the top of the build where the vines grow i think it might be cool to try and use maybe logs running along the whole top part of the build so let's try that out um Maybe dark oak. Maybe today's the day we start with the dark oak wood. Um, or should we do spruce? Let's see. Hmm. So uh, spruce laying like that. Uh, or dark oak. And then to get the whole vision, there's a vine. There's a vine. Definitely dark oak for sure. Dark oak looks way, way better. The spruce wood is a little too saturated for me. So dark oak beams going all the way across on the top. Glass, stone, and probably more stuff well maybe we could make like a mud floor that would be cool too hmm 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 decisions 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 i think we'll do stone oh whoops uh i think we'll do stone stone is a cool idea and we will absolutely need to take advantage of these dark oak wood bark blocks or, or at least i like to call them bark blocks i'm not a huge fan of this sweet sweet color right there so if we do a bark block on the edge i i think that'll help us kind of round things off but i do think the edge should pop out just a little past where this wall will be and oh you know what we could use we could use the brand new um what do you call them uh, walls like walls for walls mm-hmm <laughs> walls for walls how about that guys now, while I build this farm, I'd like to talk to you guys about the 1.14.2 update. There has been a pre-release. As of the recording of this video, there has been one pre-release for the 1.14.2 update already, which is crazy because 1.14.1 came out earlier on in the week. 1.14.2, so far, looks like it'll be a bug-fixing update just like 1.14.1 was. 1.14.1 sure did correct a lot of 1.14 bugs, so hopefully 1.14.2 continues that trend, which I'm sure it will. I am honestly amazed at how fast these point updates are coming out while the team is working on 1.15. This world will probably be updated to 1.15 whenever that comes out. My guess for 1.15 is before Minecon this fall. I think 1.15 will be a major update, but maybe not as major as everyone's 
guessing, but I, I guess we'll see. Either way, though, 1.14.2 looks to be on the horizon, and we will definitely be updating this world to 1.14.2 as soon as it comes out to see what is improved. From looking at the changelog, it looks like there have been some fixes with raid bugs and such, which I guess is a good thing. I hope to dive into the raid mechanics very, very soon in this world, and definitely mess with farms and, and just other things that involve raids. I have an idea, and for that idea we will need more dark oak wood already, which is kind of crazy. So this is what the build is looking like from down here. We can't really see much because of the tree, and we probably won't be able to see much of this build from down there because I'd like to fill this, this hill in right here with trees and just kind of separate this area from the whole little campground vibe that we have going on. But anyways, the idea. I think we should take some more dark oak wood and extend the front. We shouldn't stop at um, the three that we have here. So those are all for harvesting, which, well, hmm... Hmm, the idea was to do this. Uh, we go here and then and then here, something like that. Um, but is it a good idea? I, I think it would be, right? We'd, we'd cover the whole farm. Yeah, that's definitely a good idea. So we'll have a little bit of a hangover there on the roof. And then, of course, vines, vines, vines. Lots of vines being grown on the build. So let's see, where can we grow the tree? Let's do, let's do this. Um... Say hello to my brand new tree farm. That's amazing. <laughs> uh huh. Now let's switch gears really quick and talk about a path because this is going to be nearly impossible. Um, let's see. We can mark the path with. Uh, do I have any more spruce slabs? I I'd love to mark the path with something. Yes, I do. Uh, that we'll be using on the path. So let's say we have the road go up this way, right, and go over to. I guess the barn first, so we go up and then maybe up again, something kind of like this, and then uh, from here, hmm, we could terraform the hill up, right? So we have more of a mountain here, and then wind the path back around, right? And then following my cursor up the mountain. That's a little steep, so I'll have to terraform that, but I think that's the best way to go here. Um, it's making this even more steep, so we can't go up and down it. So I guess this tree will probably have to go, and we'll definitely have to terraform the land forwards in front of the barn just a little bit so the path would actually work. This random placement probably wouldn't work. Um, it's just a little too tight in here, so I'll pull this hill forwards, and then this hill will go like this, and I'll figure out some sort of way to get a staircase going up this thing here. We need the path right in here to kind of mark where the cow sound is. So see over here, we lose track of most of the indoor cow sounds, and then over here, we can definitely hear the barn. Kind of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Aha. That's amazing. Or evil. Depending on how you look at it. Okay, so here we go at the end of this thing. Now, for the sides of this thing, I'm thinking open. Open might be the way to go, but we still need some support. And uh, this is where this new wall blocks come in. So I think we could do this. Like if we had walls going right up, and of course we'll come back in here and mix like mossy stone brick walls in here once I have those. Uh, so a wall there, and then a wall definitely even with the front end. Oh! Oh, it's another blue moose room. We should we should talk about that soon. Hmm. Um, I'll see you. So maybe something like that. Some kind of support, and then... Hmm. We need more in there still. Um, you know what we could do? We could do fences. Fences might be a nice way to fill that, like, empty area in. So if we grabbed, I think, spruce fences. I love dark oak wood, of course, but I, I don't quite um, love dark oak planks as much so so maybe some spruce fences in here to sort of connect all of this and of course stop the vines from growing over so something like that i i think that looks great actually uh that should work that should be perfect and then the same thing over there now for the road over here i i have a, a plot twist um i i really don't think i'll be able to fit a path going up this mountain it's way 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 too steep so i think instead we'll build some sort of platform into the mountain and do a ladder and then we'll have the actual road go um, over to the barn and then up the hill this way and wrap around eventually 
No need to do that today, but just something that'll get done once I once I have more over there. It's sort of unfortunate because I'd I'd love to have the path connect up here, but it's it's just way too steep. I I, I don't think I could make it work in any kind of cool way. So let's see. Hmm. We could take uh, our shovel. Not the best, but I, I think it works. It does its job, and it looks sturdy. We wouldn't want to climb up this thing and then fall off it, now would we? So, now this build. While I cook up the glass still, I, I need to figure out uh, what I'd like to do on the bottom and, and the walls of this thing for sure. So, I like the beams, I like the fences, that's all cool, but the floor. Doing a mud bottom would be really cool in, in this thing, but we have one big problem. And that problem uh, has to do with enchantments. I still don't have access to Silk Touch, uh, which means I cannot move Podsol. There's some Podsol growing down by the river, but I can't move the Podsol into here to create a proper mud bottom. So maybe we'll go back to the stone idea. Stone could look really nice in here and would definitely provide plenty of structure to the building. But I'm, I'm not sure about a 100% stone bottom, so let's try sprinkling in some andesite as well to give this whole build a little bit more structure. I'm going for structure, not unfinished cave, and I think stone, uh, and, and solely stone, might give off that unfinished cave vibe. Uh, at the front, I think I'd like to try and do some staircases. Maybe we do, like, two andesite ones, so like, there, and... I guess over here, and then we fill the rest of the front in with stone staircases to create a nice border from the road to the farm, and then stone in everywhere else down here on the bottom. I think that'll be a good way to go, and then we'll just have to take a look at the sides. I I might want to break that up a little bit. It's, that's a lot of stone bricks, so maybe. Now while I wait for the stone to smelt up, let's talk about the back of the build. I think we should do black stained glass paints all the way along the back, and then spruce slabs on top of those. Unfortunately, when we use panes, um, if we left this top area empty, we'd have a weird gap, and I, I just don't know if I would like the look. So that'll look good, but uh, we may need to do something different in either of the back corners. Because if we don't, we'll get this weird gap, so I was thinking maybe... Just maybe we can just do a beam in the back, uh, excuse me, like that. Yeah, I mean, I don't see a problem with that. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Oh man, oh man, this wandering trader is driving me crazy. So, uh, I hate to do it to him, I really do. I, I didn't want to have to do this, but... Uh, you need to come with me, buddy. Uh, it's it's nothing personal. Look, man, it's it's nothing personal. Oh, uh, well, this is awkward. Hey, hey, I stole one. Huh. I wonder. Hmm. Aha, that's a loose llama. You're coming with me, buddy. <laughs> will you despawn? Um, this was not the plan. Uh, but I will keep this llama over here. Uh, let's see if I can... Oh, no. Ah, uh, hmm. All right, buddy. You're going to have to cooperate. Uh, I need you... The, the animals are getting out, buddy. Ah, uh, man. Uh. I give up. Fine. You guys can go on your own way. I, I'm not worried about it anymore. We need to finish the build. That's, that's the important thing. So, finally, let's finish the build up with some fences on the other side, and then our fence gates right along the front here. And with the fence gates on the front, we should be able to place water in here and not worry about water spilling out anywhere else in our whole little area here. Now that we have the water in here too, we can take a look at the sides and see if we really need to change anything. I don't think we do. I think the sides, a solid smooth stone brick, is perfectly fine. The water kind of breaks everything up anyways, so we should be good to actually plant our vines in this farm and begin to harvest them up. Filling this whole thing up with vine plants will definitely take some time. There's no way that I'll have it done by the end of the episode, but with a vine farm in our world, we can now begin to actually detail a whole lot better. Mossy variants are some of the most amazing things to happen to the game, and we will see some of those variants in here sooner rather than later now. 
And so, the final thing that we need to do before we wrap up this episode is a tiny, 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 tiny bit of terraforming up here. I'd like to add in some path blocks, some coarse dirt in here, and a few bushes as well to make this area feel a little bit more complete. Eventually, this whole zone may become a bit of a city road or something, so I'm not entirely sure if this roughed up path look will remain, but for now, it will help make this area look a little bit more complete and a whole lot better. Oh, and I almost forgot, we absolutely need a storage area over here, and I've been loving the barrels, so we have to. We have to use a brand new barrel for some vine storage. Maybe we could place the storage, ah, uh, hmm, we don't really have a good spot. I'm thinking, I'm thinking here for now. That should be a perfect spot to store the vines once they have all grown and been farmed. But uh, I think that is the end of this episode of the Minecraft Guide. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I had a lot of fun setting this one up. Keep your eyes out for those specials coming very soon. Thank you so much for 100k, and uh, I will see you next time. My name is Waddles. Goodbye, everybody.